What's up guys? Welcome back to Weapons Free 86. Today I have something very special from Japan that I've waited for three months to get. It's one of those OG parts that really makes a uh, build really quality. Um, if you've been watching my channel, some of my other videos, you've heard me reference it. I'm talking about waiting on a hood. Um, well, my hood finally got here. And I'm going to switch cameras and give you a look at that. Alright guys, so here it is. This is a Redox slash Varus carbon fiber hood. So Redox is Max Arito's brand. Max Arito is kind of like the godfather of JDM Supras. He made his own Redox wide body kit. And uh, this is the hood from his wide body Supra. Pop a little picture right there and uh, show you what his kit actually looks like, the full kit. Um, it's a very common aftermarket kit for the Supras. Although most of them are not authentic. Most of them are Shine Auto or some sort of other third party company who has kind of knocked off the original Redox kit. Well, this is an authentic Varus hood. Varus is actually the ones who um, produce the Redox, um, which is a Max Arito design. And Varus is a very high end Japanese carbon fiber company. They are made to order. Um, so it's usually around a three month wait. And, uh, I finally got it. So this is supposed to be about six pounds lighter than the factory hood. The factory hood is an aluminum hood, so it's already pretty light. Um, just to give you reference, when I had my white super a while back, I put the Saibon uh, OEM style carbon hood and actually gained a pound over the factory aluminum hood. So I'm gonna go get my bathroom scale out that I use on all my high tech weighing uh, parts. And we're actually gonna see how much the Redox Varus hood weighs compared to the OEM one. It's supposed to be six pounds lighter. Guess we'll see um, when I get that scale out here. So regardless whether it saves um, weight or not, I need that big old vent right there to let all the hot air out of the engine bay when I'm on track for 20 minute sessions. So the Supers like to run hot and to get as much hot air out of there as possible is the goal. So I'm gonna go get the scale and we'll see how much they weigh. All right, so we got my scale out here, and we got my hood. Ellie wants to talk too. Tell him about the hood. The rocket ship. It's a rocket ship. So we're gonna put the hood on the scale, and uh, we're doing the carbon one first because it's off the car already. Watch out, baby. Watch out. All right, so there we go. It's 19.2 pounds. I'm pretty sure that's already gonna be lighter than the factory hood. I think the factory hood's somewhere in the 20 pound range. So if it's around 25, it's right on what the advertisement is. It's supposed to be six pounds lighter. So uh, I'm gonna pop the factory hood off and get that on the scale. But here is the, the factory hood. I can already tell it's a little bit heavier. There we go. So 26.4 pounds. So the carbon hood is almost, well I guess that's 7.2 pounds lighter than the factory hood. Which, like I said, the other carbon fiber hood that I've tried was actually heavier than the OEM hood. So uh, that's kind of surprising. And actually, yeah, I've saved more weight than they actually claim. So it's pretty awesome. Awesome on various. So let's get the hood on the car. All right, so here's the back side of the hood. You can see the carbon underneath there's no fiberglass backing there the skeleton is still fiberglass which i was under the impression it was going to be a carbon back uh fiberglass or sorry carbon shell um but at least there's no fiberglass backing on the back of the carbon and you can see here it is a official varus product made in japan it's got the manufacturer's name because these are handmade and made to order so that's pretty cool little detail that they put on there so you know it's authentic. Um, so I gotta swap over the hood latch and then it will be ready to go on. All right, with a quick two 10 millimeter bolts, the hood latch is swapped over. I just replaced this last year because I had a broken one when I got the car. And now we'll get this thing on the car and then see how much weight we saved with the factory hood. All right, so factory hood, carbon hood, three, two, one. And that's it. I think it looks amazing. It's got a nice big old vent right up there, right over top of the engine. When you look down in it, you can see the radiator hose, which I'm gonna have made in a, um, gonna get back over to my fabricator 
and he's gonna make me a titanium upper radiator hose which would be pretty sick to be able to see right through the hood it should have um, bluing to it should look have a real nice blue titanium look to it um, you can also see the endless decal right on the front of my uh, spark plug cover so I think it looks pretty awesome so you know a little bit of weight savings but the main thing is that huge vent to get the heat out of there so I think it looks awesome Varus killed it the fitment is right just about perfect um, it's got the two latches just like the factory hood so it should be pretty secure I think I'm still gonna add some um, quick latches on the sides some little ones uh, to work in conjunction with the factory hood um, catches so let me know how you guys think about it in the comments um, if you liked the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't drop a comment tell me what I could do better but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all stopping and checking in. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next video.